Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told a spherical balloon with a radius r inches has a volume v of r is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. And we're asked to find a function that represents the amount of air required to inflate the balloon from a radius of r inches to a radius of r plus 1 inches. So before coming up with a function, let's think about what does it actually mean to find the amount of air required to go from r inches to r plus 1 inches. Well, that means you take the total area, or sorry, the total volume of the r plus 1 inches, and you subtract r inches, it's these rough guess, this area in here is the amount of air that you would have to put into the balloon to inflate it from this to this. And we find that by taking V of R plus one minus V of R, right? Because imagine if you take the whole big circle, right? Which is really a sphere, but you can't exactly draw a sphere on the page. And you subtract this inner circle, what's left is this ring, this shaded ring around it. So our function f of r is, I'll just call it that, can be equal to the volume of the big sphere minus the volume of the little sphere. So f of r is equal to, what is v of r plus one? Well, you just have to plug in r plus one here, four thirds pi r plus one cubed minus v of r, we just know, four thirds pi r cubed. Now you can distribute this out and you'd get like four terms, all with four thirds pi on the front of them, five in total. I don't think it helps to actually solve for any particular r to do five separate terms, right? For example, if r was three, right? And right, we're looking to go from three to four inches, f of three would be three plus one cubed minus four thirds pi three cubed. Doing this, I think, is a lot simpler than doing five separate terms because you can just do three plus one is four cubed is 64. 64 times four is 256, so 256 pi over three minus three cubed divided by three is three squared. Four times three times three is 36. So this cancels 36 pi. And doing it like this, I think is a lot simpler um, than five separate terms. So when you're actually solving these problems, think about what does it mean to actually simplify this expression? It's like, okay, yes, I could distribute this out and it would maybe look a little cleaner from what you're used to. But in terms of actually presenting a function that is the most useful for finding out this problem, this is what we're gonna to want to do. So this is your final answer, not some long and complicated five-step function.